Hello everyone, this is Tim, and I'm telling you about my Christmas adventure with an elf. The elf only three inches tall. Maybe you don't believe in elves. I didn't until I met Jump Jump of Holiday House. At last we are on our way to the Ice Queen's country. The Christmas fairy was leading us down the icy path that shone silver on the snow. We felt quite gay and confident since we knew the Christmas spirit was watching over us and showing us the way. In just a minute, I'll tell you what happened next on our way to save Santa's reindeer. rested long enough. Is everybody ready to go on? Jump, jump, and I are a merry holiday. <laughs> then we'd better wake and sleepy Slim the lion. We can't leave him here sleeping in the snow. No, we can't. Wake up, sleepy Slim. Wake up. Wake up, sleepy Slim. We are going to find the ice queen. <laughs> the poet and Archie Pogley have gone on ahead, sleepy Slim. Wake up, wake uh, up. Uh, where am I? Oh, <laughs> here. I had a terrible dream, terrible what dream. What did you dream, Sleepy Slim? I dreamed that I was way out in the middle of a big patch of snow. That's what I dreamed, nothing but snow, 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 snow. That's what I dreamed. It was snow fun, I can tell you. <laughs> that was no dream, Sleepy Slim. You are out in the snow, and if you don't come on, we'll have to leave you here. And that will be no fun either. <laughs> jump, jump, quit pulling on my mane. Not that it hurts. It doesn't hurt you to have Jump Jump swimming on that long hairs of your mane, no, Sleepy Slim? No, it doesn't hurt a bit. He can swing on it all he wants to. It doesn't hurt now. I, mean, I may feel it in a couple of weeks or so. <laughs> and it some takes night about soon. two weeks. <laughs> some night soon you'll probably wake up in the middle of a lovely dream about being snug at home in your warm cage at the zoo, crying, Out! Somebody's pulling my mane! <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd rather be an elf myself. Well, please hurry, Sleepy Slim. We must all stay together. How do we know which way to go, Mary Holiday? Oh, the silver path, Tim. The icy path against the snow. Oh, yes, I see. The Christmas spirit must be guiding us. I'll show you the way. I'll go first. <laughs> oh, jump, jump. The way you jump up and down, backwards and forwards and sideways, you have to go four times the distance we do to get the same place. You'll get so tired. Because me an aeroplane and I won't get tired. How about a helicopter instead of an airplane, jump, jump? Then you can fly along over our heads and hover when you want to like a red bumblebee. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll carve you just a little bit. Oh, yes, I just have a little bit of wood left. So I can just carve you a little airplane. Be sure and keep your sweater buttoned up, Jump Jump. I'm glad the snow's so hard packed, too. It's easy to walk on following the silver path. I can carve as I walk. Let's all sing, too, as we walk along. Sing? Nothing's hard to do when you sing. I know a little elf with a tiny little nose, tiny little hands and tiny little toes. He jumps around to beat the band and talks too fast to understand. His name is Jump.
jump, jump, jolly little jump, jump, work is always play. He's quick as the wind, and his very best friend is Mary Harvey. He's a little elf, yes, sir, very, very tired at his shoes. clever the way you can carve things out of wood. But it takes Jump Jump and his elf magic to bring them to life, Mary Holiday. Here, Jump Jump, touch the little helicopter. Oh, oh, oh now it flies. Oh. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> Jump Jump, you must promise now not to fly out of sight. But if you see something ahead, be sure and tell us. Who is climbing on the toy helicopter, Mary Holiday? It's just his size. Look at the propeller spin around. <laughs> Where are we going? No place? Oh, now, Sleepy Slim, you know very well where we're going. If we don't rescue Santa Claus' reindeer from the Ice Queen, there'll be no Christmas this year. Jump Jump's coming back, Mary Holiday. Already? He must have seen something ahead already. Come on, close, Jump Jump. I saw a hound, Mary Holiday. I can't hear you. What is it? An ice town. Oh, a nice town. No, an ice town with boys and girls playing. Well, if the boys and girls are playing, they can't be made of ice, too. <laughs> That's right. Jump Jump is flying back again to see what more he can see from up ahead. You know, I've heard of a certain Eskimo village up here in the snow. Do you suppose? Hachi Pogli is waving to us from up ahead. Is he where? We've be seen the ice town, too. I've never seen a real Eskimo. Have you, Sleepy Slim? Don't Eskimos wear fur coats? Yes, they do, Sleepy Slim. Oh, I never saw one. I'd rather be a elf myself. <laughs> you never saw anybody wearing a fur coat, Sleepy Slim? No, no. You wear a fur coat yourself, <laughs> Sleepy Slim. I do? Well, I've never seen it. Well, open your eyes and you will. Can't open my eyes, Tim. I'm walking in my sleep. Well, if you're walking in your sleep, how can you be talking? I suppose I can be talking in my sleep, too, can I? <laughs> I'd rather doze than pose. <laughs> what a goofy lion. Oh, I see the village now, Mary Holiday. And I see a lake, too. A lake with big white islands on it. Oh, yes. Tim, it's an Eskimo village, all right. You know, they live in ice houses. Those white islands on the water, those are ice cakes. Ooh, did I hear somebody mention cakes? <laughs> oh, those are not the kind of cakes you eat, Sleepy Slim. They're made of ice. They call them ice flows. Flows? I'd rather doze than flow. <laughs> Someone has come out of the village and is talking to Hachi Pogli, Mary Holiday. Yes, I see. Look, Tim, look at all the people following. They're all bundled up in fur. Yes. And their houses look like ice bubbles. <laughs> their houses are called igloos. Oh, living in an ice house. Isn't it cold enough without living in an ice house up here? They should live in houses of hot bricks. <laughs> I'll bet they have ice tables and ice chairs and ice blankets and little boy Eskimos ride around on icicles. <laughs> <laughs> I was too excited about seeing some of real Eskimos to laugh at Sleepy Slim's joke. As the leader of the village Eskimos came up close to us, we tried to see his face, but his fur hood surrounded his head like Sleepy Slim's mane. He kept talking to us. Mary Holiday couldn't understand him. Neither could I. 
nor Archie Pogway. Sleepy Slim didn't ever try. He, he just curled up in the snow and went to sleep. But Jump Jump was already out of his helicopter, which he parked on top of an igloo. And he was jumping up and down. When we arrived, all the Eskimo children were laughing and running here and there, trying to catch him in their hands. Jump Jump jumped right into an igloo. And so we followed him. You know, it wasn't a bit cold in there. And there was a big fire burning in the center of the round ice house. Just as I started to sit down on a big pack of skins, I saw a boy about my age. I think he was kind of smiling at me. So I smiled back. And pretty soon he came over to me and held out something for me to take. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, Tim. The Eskimo boy is offering you a piece of whalebone. This is what they use to carve harpoons and toys from. Thank you. I'll use it to carve toys for Jump Jump. The boy only smiled. But when I started to carve in the bone, he came and sat beside me. Soon I'd whittled out a little sled for Jump Jump, only one inch long. And when I gave it to the little elf, he jumped up and down with glee. <laughs> we all followed Jump Jump outside. And when the grown-up Eskimos saw Jump Jump's sled, they began to make songs signs to each other. And sure enough, in just a minute, they had brought us a big sled, just like Jump Jump's. Except that this was a real sled, and it was hitched up to six husky Eskimo dogs. We thanked them for the sled as best we could, and we were just going to call Archie Pogley and Sleepy Slim, when I noticed that Sleepy Slim, who had fallen asleep in the snow, was completely surrounded by Eskimos. Look, Mary Holiday, the Eskimos are trying to get Sleepy Slim to take off his mane. Oh, oh Tim, they're pulling at his fur. Oh, you know what they think? They think he's wearing a fur coat that comes off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just Friends, like they do. Enemies, <laughs> please don't pull my mane out. I assure you I am not an Eskimo. <laughs> oh, no. time to go and see Sleepy Slim, because just at that moment I saw a little Jump Jump away out in the water on an ice floe, and he was floating away from shore. Merry Holiday! Sleepy Slim! Everybody, look at Jump Jump! Jump Jump! Oh, Jump Jump! Come back, Jump Jump! Help! 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 Holiday! Merry Holiday! Oh, we just got to do something quick! He's floating farther away from us every minute! Tim, what can we do? Jump, jump. Oh, what are we going to do to rescue Jump Jump? He was too far up in between the big gap of ice flow to the shore for him to jump. And those big cakes of ice kept bumming into each other with a crunching sound. No one could swim between them. And Jump Jump's little voice kept getting farther and farther away. Help! 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 But I'll have to wait now until tomorrow to tell you what happened to Jump Jump of Holiday House.